Hey there, Blinker Blue 101 fans. Uh, Kirk Combrink here with the uh, video of Comic Con cars. Something that uh, really got, uh, that I've always wondered about is. <coughs> Sorry, I still recovering from the cold and all. But, anyways, what is it about cars that we see in movies and TV and stuff like that that sparks our interest so much? I mean, what is it about those cars that when a car guy sees it or anybody else, it's like meeting a. I guess for me and other car guys, it's like meeting a celebrity. Because the car itself becomes like a character in the show. You know, it, there's so much that can be based around it, you know. Uh, Back to the Future, the Fast and Furious franchises, uh, Supernatural, stuff like that. Back, uh, Knight Rider, all that kind of stuff, you know I mean? And you get memorabilia, you know, Supernatural. You know, the uh, back, back to the Future, stuff like that. You know? And it's so intoxicating to see these cars. And for me, whenever I was a kid, it was always like, wow, I'm going to own that car. Like watching Knight Rider, Starsky and Hutch, you know, Back to the Future, stuff like that, and everything. Dukes of Hazard. It was always like Jurassic Park. It's like, I'm going to own a car like that. You know, that is badass. Then you become an adult, and adulthood kicks in, and you realize, Holy shit, I ain't got the money for that. But it's one of those things where some people do own them, and it just lets you know that it can be possible. So here we go. 2018, Wizard World Comic Con, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we did not get filming with all the vehicles. Uh, the people who did let me film with the ones I did get to, thank you so much. You guys were awesome. Uh, there will be a couple of pictures of some of the other ones that we saw, and a little bit more footage. So, and there's a little something extra in there for you guys too. But anyways, here we go. Blink of Fluid 101. Let's have at it. Uh, we're on our way to Comic Con right now, and uh, we had to actually stop because I had to get a different soda because I'm not gonna say what brand this is, but apparently they do not want me getting this soda because I mean, literally. <clears throat> it's like this thing is glued on with rubber cement right now. I have no clue how that even is going on. I feel like a weakling. We'll explore this later. Walking in yet, and we're already seeing cool cars. It's gonna be fun. Stay tuned. Okay, so far we have the Impala from Supernatural. Badass car. Car I would love to own, but probably never will. Uh, let's see, what else? We have the. One of the Jeeps from Jurassic Park. That could be fun. And right here we have a TARDIS. It's kind of bigger on bigger on the inside than on the outside. Just like your mom. Stay tuned. Hello, Blinker Fluid 101 fans. I'm sitting here inside the 1967 Chevy Apollo from uh, Supernatural. I don't know what we're going to see, but hopefully it won't be none of my ex-girlfriends. They still haunt me today. Maybe they got someone in the trunk that'll help me out with that. This is a zombie apocalypse survival vehicle. I'm actually looking for a new vehicle now, hey babe. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this to I'm gonna do this to your car. Your car. Yes. Zombie apocalypse future mom vehicle is gonna be badass. Yes. We're doing that, yes. In case you all haven't noticed yet, this is my beautiful wife, Angie. You'll see her more in my videos. But yes, I mean this thing is fucking kick ass. That is neat. Babe, I swear I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Blinker Fluid 101 fans, as you all know, we do not run away from a fight, and we don't know when to stop. This is the soda from earlier. She said, so I'm not saying the brand, but... Oh. Demon soda from hell is what this was. Demon soda from hell. Yeah, all right. Yep. And just like anything evil, it tastes delicious. Well, that's the end of that. Bye-bye.